as well as taking our own stock photography, we decided to create a mobile application, which is Android based, to assist in our manual camera settings for when we are using our DSLR. We thought this an invaluable tool for others, so we have released this publicly on Google Play Store. We decided adverts would possibly interrupt taking that potential for perfect photograph, so we've decided on a very low yearly subscription, making our photographic aid affordable for everyone. We do welcome discussion to this and any other video we produce. Our application takes a reading of the live ambient light level, which there are two ways the user can do this, either, the, either via the phone's light meter, which is the dial infographic, or alternatively, if the user slides to the right, they can use the phone's main camera, essentially to shoot in the same direction where you are shooting with your camera equipment. This then converts the lux value of the light into EV, which is the current exposure value. With the current live value of EV, which in theory should not change too much unless you're waiting for a quick sunrise or sunset within your current shooting. From this, there are three factors within the exposure triangle, which all work in balance together. These are ISO, shutter speed, and aperture, which is also called f-stop. The app will initially work out a statistical average value for these to begin with, based on the current EV levels. However, we do understand this might not be suitable for all shooting aspects. We have included troubleshooting and lock features, which is because based on the statistical average, we expect most users to have a certain aperture in mind, for example, which they want to shoot photos with. So we have created locks for one of the three factors at a time, allowing the app to compensate from this the other two factors. We also allow troubleshooting, for example, if your current ISO level is making the image too noisy, simply reduce the value with the minus icon on the left hand side of the bar. The other two factors within the exposure triangle will compensate for this, allowing the perfect exposure ratio. Within your camera setup area of the application, which is displayed as a cog wheel, um, we've also factored in if the user is using a tripod, which would allow for a greater range of shutter speeds due to user handshake, or if the user is shooting in macro, which we do a lot of. This was again essentially placed limits on some of the factors for the exposure triangle. And finally, we take into consideration the focal length of your lens. This again, using the reciprocal rule is very important if you're not using a tripod. Based on your current setup, when you use our app, there may be limitations based on, for example, if you are not using a tripod, this will in turn place limits on the app and it will work with the current light levels available. This will display an error within the light metering area of the application, advising the EV level is out of scope currently and to consider using a different lens or even a tripod. We hope to develop our application to take consideration flash use within our next update. This currently is shown as greyed out within the current setup area of the application. We also might look at a section for stock photography brand partners to link into, which would allow the application user to potentially sell their own photography as well. In summary, we hope to have created a very useful application for people like ourselves who are interested in getting the best out of our camera, whilst probably aiming for certain aspects automatic settings might not quite allow. Please keep checking back as we plan at least two more updates in the near future. Thank you for watching. If you have found this video useful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. This will give you updates on new releases of a similar nature. This is very helpful to us. We do appreciate it. Check out our social media links found within the description of this video. We also love discussion, especially if you have another point of view. Please add your comments, it helps us improve our content. We do have plans to make many more videos in the future, however these might have content updates as our work progresses. Our videos might be updated and re-uploaded at any point as our research progresses. Thank you once again.